Hello there. So today I've come up with something simple and factual. Okay. So I want to talk about the beauty of fluids, which is this backbone behind the applied science of hydraulics. Okay. So without wasting any time, this is what I'm having in front of me. So this is my jack. Your jack actually the one that you use in your car. Okay. This is your jack, and yeah, I have two pistons. That's piston two, and this is piston one. As you can see, piston one is smaller in terms of diameter to piston two. So let me name piston one diameter small d and piston two diameter big d. And let's put a relationship. So let's say big d equals three times small d. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the principle behind the fluid which is used in hydraulic. So the fluid is considered incompressible which of course it is it is incompressible so which means if i have to apply a force shear okay a force shear so that force there will drive a point a there we're gonna drive another point there until that force goes and moves this bigger plunger or this bigger piston out okay so what happens in fluid is if I apply a pressure there, this pressure is the same as the pressure applied there, is the same as the pressure applied there, is the same as the pressure applied there, which means then, so the pressure applied here is the same as the pressure applied there, but here is the problem. So we know that force equals to pressure times area. What does that mean? So which means if I apply a smaller force here, okay, since my area is smaller here, that force, which means if I apply I meant a smaller pressure here, which means that pressure is going to give a small force. And then that pressure will go by this side here, it's going to come with a bigger force. So this is force one, this is force two. Okay, so that's why you see, no matter how small you are, no matter how much you weigh, so when you use your jack, when you put a pressure there, no matter how small your pressure is, so when it goes, it moves your car up because of the beauty behind the stand. So what happens is you put a small pressure there, the pressure goes, that might be small, this is a bit bigger, but the force is bigger. Now, there is a catch. We're going to talk about the catch. So here, that's how it is. I'm going to talk about the force first here. So F1 equal to P, which is the diameter squared times pi over 4. We know that pi equal to 3.14157. I will not stop there. Okay, so this is force 1. Okay, and force 2 equals to the same p times the bigger d squared times pi over 4. So if I had to get the p, the that pressure here. So here, pressure will be equal to force 1 over times 4 over d squared times pi. And then this side here, p will be equal to the same thing, force 2 over big d squared times pi. But here we know that big d equal to 3d. Which means pressure here equals to 4 over 3 that squared times pi. That will be 9. And then again, this will mean that P1, P is equal to the other P, so the pressure is equal to the other pressure. And at the end of the day, because I don't have enough space here, at the end of the day, so force 2 will be equal to 9 force 1 because that 3 times 3, 3 squared equals to 9. So if you have to simplify there, you will realize that's going to remain with 9. So that 9 day, so F2 equal to F1 times 9. So if you put 10 Newton here as your pressure there, that side there, you get it. 90 Newton. Wow, 90 Newton. But now here's the problem. Here's the problem. 
So for you to move, to move this one here, this bigger plunger, with a certain height, to move it by a certain height, you need to go also with a certain height. This relationship goes like this. So volume of volume of the side, so V1 volumes times force 1 equals to V2 times force 2. So which means if you have to move this one here by H, bigger H, so this side here you need to go by H, which is gonna be you need to go by bigger, so you need to go more there for you to move this one higher. That's why when you are moving your car up by using the jack, you go the first time down, you go up again, the second time, you go up again. So the volume, because the, the more you're going up and down, you're going up and down, you are trying to put that's H, H1, that's H2, that's H3, and so, and so, and so, which is going to make a certain amount of H total, H total, which is H1 plus H2 plus whatever times that you go, you went up and down, and then this time this one here multiply by the force that you are putting, the force that you are putting times the area, and then you get your result. Your car is out because the principle is clear. Everything is there. As I said, the only catch is the volume, so you need to go to make sure that you go more in. You go more in for you to see the other side to go up. That is what is used in jack. That's what is used in uh, in press machines. That's what is used in hydraulic stuff. So your plunger is smaller the side outcome. So your income is smaller the side, but your outcome the outcome that side is bigger because of the diameter because of the. So as I said, so let me now give an example of numbers. I'm going to just give you an example of numbers. I say that I'm not going to give an example of numbers, but it's better to come up with numbers so that everything can be clear. So here we go. So let's say, as I said, my force here, my force day is 10 Newton. So if my force here is 10 Newton, then I'm expecting to have a now scale this side aside. So this is what's going to happen. So which means I'm going to give also the size of my plunger. So let's say my small piston has a dimension of 0.1 meter or 100 nanometer. Okay, so this is what is going to happen. So the pressure, the pressure will be equal to 10 newton divided by pi times d squared over 4. So that's 4 goes up to be that times that. And this one here, what gives me, so I'm leaving the 1273.2 newton per meter squared. So that side, this is for this side, the pressure is the same though. So now, I need to calculate the force here. I have the pressure, so we all know that force again equal to pressure times the area. Okay, so pressure times the area. So now what I'm gonna have is I have that okay times I said big D is three times small d. So times three. So knowing that our small diameter is 0 0.1 meter, so 3 times 0 0.1 meter, that squared times pi over 4. So what am I getting here? So I'm having, so I'm having 0 0.07068 times 1073.2, this times 1. So this is equal to 89.99. Seven two Newton. So that's one day is actually ninety 
newton as to a said okay 90 newton so this is as what i said i feel honored to share this with you and uh i hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh, as i always say again if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe we want to see you among us we want to see you sharing the same thing with us okay so i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe again don't forget to share if you want to share this and other people need to know the same thing you just you just learned here and uh, for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and bye